It's the Blues Rock Show with Pete Francis and Willie Witten. Marcus King recently appeared on The Tonight Show performing his new single, Hardworking Man. Now, Marcus King has a new album coming out in August called Young Blood. Once again, this album sees Marcus King team up with Dan Auerbach of the Black Keys as the producer on this album. Willie, where do you think Marcus King stands right now in the pantheon of modern rock artists? Uh, he's near the top. He's got the feel. He's a bit, in a good way, of a throwback. He, uh, he has that rock and roll attitude. He has the feel. It doesn't seem contrived. He seems genuine. More than anything else, his music is very good. And the fact that he gets on The Tonight Show is great because it feels like the more music shifts, it becomes there's a lot of rap hip hop. There's a lot of EDM, electronic dance music. There's a lot of country. Rock is sort of taking a backseat. So anytime I see one of these guys at all make it to a Tonight Show, I think it's good. In the genre of rock, it's sort of hard to say. I think there's a tier of guys at the top, and I think he's part of that tier. I certainly see his pairing with Auerbach being an indicator of that. Pete, do you find anyone who's at the top? And we're talking about exposure, music, notoriety all combined. I'm not talking about necessarily chops. Yeah. Well, I think you look at the Black Keys, and they are definitely over the past, you could probably go back 20 years now about, they are one of the biggest rock acts out there and have been yeah. one of the most successful rock acts out there. Looking over like the past 20 years though, Willie, like, I mean, who else is out there as far as bands that have emerged really within like the past 20 years, the past decade that have truly been really big? that have had mainstream sort of success within rock. Because you look at modern rock right now, Rival Sons is fantastic. They yeah. have kind of intermittently had some mainstream-ish sort of attention. Like their music has been featured during like NFL games and MLB games and yeah. things like that as they're like going to commercial breaks. But you still aren't really seeing them so much like playing on the late night circuit and things like that. Greta Van Fleet, obviously, um, if you're looking at modern rock bands, has gotten a lot of attention. You know, they yeah. have played on some of these shows. You hear, the, you hear them on the radio a lot. Outside of that, you know, especially, like I said, in the last 10 years, which artists are really doing that? That's why I think it's great that Marcus King is doing that. And one thing I think we maybe even forget about with Marcus King is he's only 26 years old. But it seems right. like he's been around for a long time. And I know we've throwback. been following him at Blues Rock Review for a long time. But Marcus King, man, he's still only 26 years old. He is super young. And so I think it's great that he's having this success. He's teamed up with Dan Auerbach, and that's helping him get to more people. And he, that connection is definitely paying off for Marcus King. I think one of the other things that sticks out when you listen to Marcus King is he's certainly not just a rock artist. You know, right. he appeals to fans of, you know, the blues, soul, right. country, you know, his style reaches a lot of different audiences and a lot of different genres. And I think that's one of the things that's really appealing about Marcus King. And also when you listen to Marcus King for the first time, his voice really stands out, Willie. You know, he just has Rich. one of those voices. The first time you hear him sing, you're like, who is that? And it really right. grabs your attention. And so Marcus King does so many things well. He's so versatile with his style. Great guitar player, great singer. So it's really awesome to see him having this success and, and really getting out to a much larger audience because it is very difficult in this day and age to achieve that playing the type of music that he plays. I think so. You touched on a couple of things that I'd like to go back to uh, 26 years old. One of them is youth, uh, popular music. It was rock and roll generation before we were both born. So I think that there's something about being 26 that endears him potentially to a younger audience, whether that audience is turning into tuning into the tonight show, they're probably not 
but I think that he can maybe help to bridge that gap. Rival Sons, the Black Keys, Pete, they're closer to my age. I think that's great. I think it's great that Marcus appeals to people my age. I think his youth helps. I think the fact that he is visually appealing, I think the fact that he is young, those are big helps to give him some of those intangibles beyond the music, which is also good. One last band before I stop jabbering, I'd like to talk about that I think could fill this void if they were to get some damn attention is the damn truth. They yeah, that is another great appealing. band, super underrated. And I'll let you talk about a couple of thoughts on them, but you see where I'm coming from with if the damn truth ever got some exposure, they are dynamic. They are fun to watch. They're fun to listen to. They could be in there with the Marcus King from a more late 70s, 80s. Yeah, that, that, that. that's a Canadian band. And they've, they've had some nice success recently over in the UK, Europe. Really great band. They're kind of closer, I think, to, uh, also, though, to like Rival Sons generation age-wise. So yeah. a, a little different than with what Marcus King is doing. But again, I think it comes down to really, I mean, you can say this about any business or any career. It's like who you know, right? And yep. Marcus King having that connection with Dan Auerbach is like certainly really, really helping his career because Dan Auerbach yeah. recognized, okay, this guy is super, super talented, you know, I've kind of reached this level of success and I can help him get exposed to a bigger audience. And so that certainly paid off for Marcus King. Well, what do you guys think? Is Marcus King the next big thing in rock? Where do you see him on the current pantheon of rock artists in the world today? Let us know down in the comments.